Men, get those banner poles down. We're moving out. Joey, I want you to go over to Valley Falls and pay for the license. And arrange for these supplies. Right. Catch up with us in Kingsville, huh? Move over, Corky. <laughs> Being strangers, we better stay clear out of it, too. <laughs> All right, men, break it up. You're not taking any prisoners out of this jail. Uh, we ain't gonna hurt them, Sheriff. Just gonna teach them a lesson, that's all. Yeah. 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 Gonna give them a little dose of tar and feathers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we know how to handle it. Just leave it up to us. I'll give you just one minute to disperse. If you don't, I'm throwing you all in jail. Starting with you first, Orville. You just wait till the next election. This town's gonna have a new sheriff. That's yeah, right. Yeah, we'll right. Too high. That's your privilege. Right now, I'll do things my way. Just ten more seconds. I'll tell you one thing they got in this town is a very efficient sheriff. Well, we better attend to that license and see. Oh, Corky! Joey! It's over! Oh, oh fellas, am I glad to see you. Where did you come from? What are you doing in there? Oh, Joey, it's a long story, and I'd rather not talk about it. Are you the one the mob was after? I must be. I'm the only one in here. Did you rob a bank or something? Oh, of course not. It's a mistake. See, I am the victim of a terrible miscarriage of justice. Oh, well, then you won't have any trouble getting out. Oh, no, no, now, wait, Joy. I implore you, please, in the name of mercy, do not let me rot in this vile bastille. What can we do, Elmer? Do we'll see the sheriff. Talk to him. It's only a matter of a few paltry dollars. Talk to the man. Well, it better be. Otherwise, I'm afraid you're going to have to just set it out in here, Elmer. But Come on, Court. <laughs> Don't worry, Elmer. We'll be right back. Don't go away. No, I won't. <laughs> Premeditated fraud, malicious mischief, grand larceny, and obtaining money under false pretenses, destroying public property, and an inciting a riot. Elmer did all that? How did it happen? He put on a show with his magic lantern. Magic lantern? Yes. A device that he claimed that would show pictures that move. Moving, Moving pictures. pictures. Yes, and when the machine failed to work and the people couldn't get their money back, they practically wrecked our town hall. Oh, that sounds very serious. If you could pay a small fine and the amount of damages, I'd agree to let him go. How much? Oh, about $300 should take care of the damages. 300 I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid you'll have to keep him. Come on, Cork. Uncle Joy, we just can't do that. What are we going to do if we only have $200? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll cancel the fine, and that $200 should cover the damages. Thank you very much, Mr. Sheriff. What are you talking about? That money isn't ours. It's to buy a license and food for our animals. But Elmer's my friend. I know. He's my friend, too, but I... Hey, why don't we use the money to get Elmer out to wire Colonel Jeff for some more? I never thought of that. Will you do it, please? Well, we do have enough supplies to last the animals till we hear from Colonel Jack, and we don't have to worry about a license because we don't play this town for another two weeks. It's a deal. There's only one more thing. Get him out of town without anyone seeing. You bet. <laughs> well, this ought to be far enough out of town. Whoa! You can come out now, Elmer. Oh, it was hot in there. Not half as hot as it'd be if those town fellers got hold of you. Oh, yeah, what an experience. You know, for a creative, inventive man like me, no understanding. Well, I just hope Big Tim has got some understanding when he finds out what I did with that money he gave me. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Joey, 
way, what was Elmer doing in Valley Falls? Uh, 90, uh, uh, he was on his way over here to, to join us again. Well, he's wasting his time. I got more help now than I can use. Yeah, this kind of help. Uh, no, he, he wasn't after a job. He, he's got an idea that can make us all a fortune. Joey, I don't want any part of Elmer or his ideas. I'm afraid it's a little late. He's already here. With his magic lantern. Magic lantern? Yeah, it's a machine that makes pictures move. Did you see it work? No, but, well, Elmer sort of explained it to me. Well, you can take my word for it. It won't. It better. Why? Because we're sort of partners with Elmer. What? Do you know that money you gave me to buy the license and feed for the animals? Yeah. Well, Elmer needed it, and I gave it to him. Joey, you didn't. Oh, Tim, now, Tim, wait till I explain the whole thing to you, Tim. Oh. Tim, look, I, I drove into, into this town, and there was Elmer in jail. See some handbills I had printed? I better save them. I might need them someday. Corky, this is my baby. This is the Elmer Purdy projector. Careful, please, Corky, careful. It's very fragile, very. Well, how does it work? Well, I'll show you. Now, look, see? The film goes in here, round here, round here, through here, and back here. Then the light from the projector projects the image through the lens and onto a white sheet. And then, when I turn the crank, it sort of gives the illusion of motion. Could we work it? Well, not till we get some more film, see? Because that last batch I had was destroyed by those vandals in Valley Falls. Well, how do you get some more? We make it ourselves with this camera. Well, oh, Mr. Champion, well, it's good to see you again. Yes, sir. And Pete, you old Southwest. Yeah, how things been going? Pretty bad. But now it looks like things are going to get worse. Oh, <laughs> same old Pete. Yeah. Elmer, Joey told me what happened this morning. I'll admit I was a little mad for a few minutes, but then I realized I'd probably have done the same thing under the circumstances. Thank you, Mr. Champion. A partner? Oh, no, I don't want any part of your latest brainstorm. But I do think you should work out what you owe us. Isn't that fair? Oh, very fair. But do you mind if I work on my magic lantern in my spare time? Oh, I don't care what you do in your spare time, Elmer. But don't blow up the tent, set fire to anything, or involve Corky in anything dangerous. Is that understood? Mr. Champion, I... <laughs> Come along, Elmer. You going to a party or something? No, Elmer's going to take my picture today, and i got to look neat. Hey, Elmer's magic lantern must be better than I thought. You haven't seen it yet. I know, but any device that can make a small boy slick up like you are must be all right. Special delivery, Joy, from Bixby Enterprises. Oh. Colonel Jack, oh boy, I knew he'd send his money. You didn't open it yet. Joy, I'm not in the habit of opening other people's mail. <laughs> uh, uh, the check must be under separate cover. Read the letter. Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, Birkenwald shows. Uh, dear sir, we have received your wire asking for a loan of $500. And re re regret to inform you that t t Colonel Bixby is in the darkest Africa and cannot be reached. However, we shall refer the matter to him when he returns in the fall. In the fall? If I don't get $300 by the end of the week, this show is through. It's all my no, fault. No, it's all my fault. Well, I know how you both feel. I'd have probably done the same thing but myself. Jim, maybe there's a bank someplace you could borrow the money from. Joey, I've already tried that. The circus is so heavily in debt now, I can't even get a plug nickel. Is there anything I can do to help Mr. Champion? No, thanks, Corky. I'll figure out something. Hey, 
Maybe the boss had some luck after all. Yeah. He could be a banker. Ah. Pete, Joey, this is Mr. Larson. How are you, gentlemen? Mr. Larson is a local contractor. Yeah, I uh, clear the land for the farmers. Keeps me jumping, you can bet you. <laughs> Mr. Larson's got more work than he can handle. That's why I brought him here. Does that mean you want us to go to work for him? Not exactly. Come on, I'll show you. Okay, Arky, go ahead. Arky, bye. He is stronger than 20 horses, you betcha. I told you so, Mr. Larson. Yeah. Well, you got yourself a deal there, Mr. Champion. I will take this animal. What's he talking about, Tim? You're not going to sell him bimbo. It might amount to that. Well, you can't do it. You break Corky's heart, you know that. Doesn't make me feel too good either. But my back's to the wall, you know that. I'm sorry, I... I don't know how I'll make Corky understand. There she is, Corky. All loaded with brand new film and ready to go. Corky, could I talk to you a minute? Well, can it wait, Uncle Joy? Elmer only has a little spare time. We want to take some pictures of Bimbo. I... I think you better hear what I have to say first. Yes, Uncle Joey. Remember, you asked Big Tim if there was anything you could do to help? Yeah, and he said there wasn't. Well, now there is. You still willing? Well, sure. What can I do? Well, you can be the man I think you are when you hear what I have to say. What's the matter? Uh, maybe I better get started no, with No, Elmer, I... I think you better hear this, too. There, there's no need you fellas going over and taking those pictures of Bimbo, because Bimbo isn't here. Well, what happened? Did he get lost? Did he no, run away? No, no, now Did listen to me. You see, there's a, a man, a, a very nice man named Larson, and well, he gave Big Tim $500 for Bimbo. He can't do that. Bimbo, what time? He can't do look, it. it. It isn't quite as bad as it sounds. You see, if... Well, if, if we can get the money back to Mr. Larson in a month, and Bimbo can come home. But we'll never be able to get all that money. It's all your fault, Elmer. If you had not gotten in trouble... I know, I, I know how you feel, Corky. I guess I am a bonehead, just like Pete said. It appears to me uh, you fellas are giving up awful easy. If I was you, Corky, I'd have faith in my path. And if I was you, Elmer, I'd never quit trying. You wouldn't? No, sir. If I thought I could make pictures that move, I'd keep on trying just like Fulton did with his steamboat. Oh, you're right. We're gonna get Bimbo back, Corky. Do you really think so, Elmer? I really think so, Corky. Well, for heaven's sake, there's work to be done. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Should have been a lawyer. Oh, Corky, this is great. Great. Knock it off, Elmer. I got a lot of canvas for you to patch up. Over there. Pete never lets him get any work done. Pete is a broken axle on the wheel of progress. All right, boys, that's enough grease. Put her back on. Tim, I want to speak to you a minute. Sure, Joey. What's on your mind? Well, you know, I've been thinking that magic lantern of Elmer's could be a pretty good thing. Now, don't tell me he sold you. No, he didn't, but this item in the latest billboard did. You mean this one about four circuses going broke this no. season? No, no, this, this one right here. Latest attraction on Broadway is Latham's Pantopticon. That's a funny name. <laughs> a magic lantern device that shows motion pictures of a four-minute boxing match and bids to take in more money than the top Broadway show. Yeah, now, now, if it would drag in those people on Broadway, why wouldn't it right here? Well, it might, and if it doesn't, they might tear up the place like they did in Valley Falls. 
Uh, but uh, not if you don't charge them. Oh, that's a great way to make money. Don't charge admission. Uh, no, you don't understand it. This is sort of a, an extra added attraction before the main show. A free exhibition of moving pictures. I never saw anyone yet who didn't want to get something for nothing. Say, you know, it might draw some extra people at that. Come on. First, the film has to be developed, and then I'm still trying to figure out how to get a stronger light. In plain words, you're nowhere near ready. No, but yes, yes, I can have everything set by tomorrow night. Good, I'll get the news out right away. Oh, thank you, Mr. Champion. Tomorrow night, history will be made. Never mind history, just make a little money. Come on, Joey. <laughs> This is the biggest crowd I can remember. Well, what do you think Elmer's idea now? You'd better check on him, Joey. Find out how long before he's ready to go. Right, Bob. And there. Now, Corky, according to my calculations, this lamp should give us five times the illumination of the old one. Well, how did it work? Well, you mix carbide tea with water and it forms a gas. Wait a minute, I'll show you. Oh, could be I put in a little bit too much carbide, or maybe I put in too much water. We'll just stay here and let it burn out a little. I don't know what makes it. Maybe the pressure's building up. I How soon will you fellas be ready? Well, as soon as this thing happens. Oh, no, there's no immediate danger, but please clear the midway. The fire control boss, yeah, the wind's going towards the main tent. Get some men and take out all the gear. Right, do it. Get some animals in the clear. Witness the final performance of the great Birkenwald Circus. Ah, we saved everything but the big top, boss. Yeah, we might be lucky at that, Joey. There might be enough left for the Bixby Enterprises to get most of their money back. 
Hey, what do you think about putting on an outdoor show for the rest of the season? Oh, I've had it, Joy. I sent Pete into town to wire the Colonial Company to come and take over. Look what I found in town. Big show at the Opera House. The astounding new Magic Lantern with show pictures at move at Mission 30 cents. Elmer? Yep. Be another riot. Well, that's his concern. Well, it's our concern now. Corky's with him. Cork Corky? Corky! Now, take it easy. Nobody's gonna hurt that little boy. Well, how can you tell? When a mob gets going, there's no telling who'll get hurt. Right. You may be right. We better get there as quick as we can. Hey, Rube! <laughs> Be in such a hurry, young fella. The show's over. Over? Sure. Say, you fellas certainly missed a humdinger. You mean they liked it? Oh, they sure did. They wouldn't believe pictures could move till they saw it. Even then, some of them don't believe it. Come back tomorrow. Maybe we'll show them again. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Joy. Corky, why didn't you tell us what you were going to do? We were afraid you'd stop us. We had to do something to make up for the damages. This is Mr. Champion. Howdy. My name's Conway. Sam Conway of Conway Theatrical Enterprises. Oh, yes. Mr. Conway, I've heard of you. I'm certainly glad to meet you. Thank you. Mr. Purdy here tells me that you're his partner. Oh, Mr. Purdy has a major interest. Well, I have just made him an offer of $1,000 for rights on his magic lantern. <clears throat> you mean $5,000, do not you? $5,000? No. Don't be ridiculous. Elmer, we'll take this magic lantern and lease it to every show in the country. We'll get every opera house in the world. Why, before you know it, we'll have this stuff yeah, all... Mr. Champion, I'll meet your price, $5,000. Plus a 10% royalty on all profits to Mr. Purdy and a new big top for my circus. Well, that's robbery, but uh, I accept your offer. Good. Suppose you advance this $500 as a down payment. There you are. Corky, take this over to Larson's and get Bimbo right away. Oh, Mr. Conway, uh, keep in touch, because someday I'm going to invent a picture that also speaks. <laughs> now, that's what I call a real crazy idea. I wouldn't laugh, fellas. He might just do it.